we are here so far. We need to create the functionality for the edit view. Okay, so let's go to the edit view. And in here, we want to create some type of form, right? Our form needs to be able to send a request to edit this data that we got here. So the method is going to be post. The route that we want, we haven't constructed that route yet, but the route that we are going to need is going to be a roles update route. And there we are going to take our role with us. Okay. Make sure that you got your CSRF and your method of put in here. Then we are going to create some Let's just get, get a form group going here. An input that's going to have the value of the role name. Make sure that you also have the name attribute there that we are going to need. Maybe the ID, name, and a label. And we're going to need a button that's going to say update. Let's give the button a class too. Let's call this BTN, BTN primary. What else do we need here? Let's check it out. Refresh, ooh, update. Oh, yeah, we have not created that. Come back here. That's going to be roles update. Update. There we go. Update. And make sure that you also create the method update. Let's die dump the data and let's just refresh. We need to fix that form though. Put methods not supported. Yeah, of course. Make sure that we get this done here. Let's go back to the form, the edit form, and let's also give this thing a class here. class of uh, foreign control okay there we go now we don't want this too big but we got the row there let's make this a little smaller what I want to do is make this a little smaller so I'm gonna grab all these guys out and I'm going to put it in the call of small sets there we go that's more like it now you might be thinking where is the other input for this log what if I want to update this log well that's up to you what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the slug auto automatic. We want to be able to grab the name of this input here and create a slug with it. So I, I don't want to, I don't want the user to be able to edit the slug as well, but that's up to you. In this application that I'm building here, I'm just going to do it behind the scenes so that I have less, so the user can have, uh, does, does not deal with, by creating the slug. Okay. We deal with it. But if you want to deal with it, that's up to you. If you want the user to, to manage it. Okay? But I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to let you pick it. And all you have to do is create another input with a name attribute log. And you, you guys already know how to do this stuff. Okay? But I won't do it. Okay? I'm just going to create it like this. But anyway, in the next lecture, we're going to continue with this. Um, by, cre by making sure that this updates. See you in the next one.